What's up guys, it's your girl Riva. I'm back again with another video. If you're new here, my name is Riva. Nice to meet you. I'm here to give you guys my feelings, my thoughts, my opinions, of course, my reaction to this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. I'm gonna go ahead and just press play so we can go ahead and watch the video together and then I'm gonna give you guys my feedback after. Good meeting. Uh, yeah, I was actually reading. Um, I, I ship out in a few days, so I was just reading the art strategy. Okay, that's um, military. Uh, yeah, so actually, I'm a nuclear physicist for the Navy, oh. so I, I do that in a few in a few days. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Okay, what about you? I am 27. I look a little young. I'm not. I'm not that young. Yeah. yeah. So where do you live? Uh, so I'm actually in the Woodlands, Texas right now, um, right right down there by Houston. I'm about 30 minutes away from Houston, so I'm a little close. Oh, nice. Okay, so tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, man, where do I start? Uh, I, like, uh, I like martial arts a lot. I did a, a bit of pharmacy uh, back when I was a little bit younger, about two, three years ago. I got certified at pharmacy around when I was 17. Um, I didn't really do anything with it. I went to university for a while. I was getting like a business degree. So I have a bachelor's in business. And then I did um, pharmacy for a little while, for about three years, and then got bored. So I was like, eh, let's go see what the military has to offer. Didn't do anything. Um, got my, I did my PiCat about a year ago. Got a 96 on that. It goes up to a 99, got a 96. They offered me nuclear physics, and I was like, why the fuck not? So I went there, and now I ship out in a few days. Oh, okay, nice. Well, best of luck as you ship out pineapples. Yeah. Why? Because he literally didn't tell me any qualities about himself. He's just like, I made a 96 on this. I did this. And I feel like I did that at first, too. But however, I need a man with some personality. You felt that quick? You know you didn't have personality? Yes, I'm really good at reading people. Okay. <laughs> okay, so apparently this is like some kind of dating show, right? So this is where people come on to the show, they connect, you know, they link up, whatever. If they're interested, I think they just go along with it. And I think if they're not interested, just based off of what I'm hearing right now, I guess they say the word pineapples and then they just move it forward, right? Oh, first of all, first of all, this man comes on. He doesn't know you. You don't know him. You asked him, tell me about yourself, right? Tell me some things about yourself. And this man is listing off professional qualities, right? He's listing off the things that he's done. He's listing off, um, you know, other accolades that he's acquired all the way to get to be a nuclear physicist. I don't even know what that is, if I'm being real. <laughs> if I'm being really honest, I don't even know what that is. But physicist, nuclear, obviously, this is a this is not a job that like anybody can acquire. This is something that takes a, a strong level of intelligence, right? And focus and studying and books and reading and all of these things. So you're upset because this man is reeling off his accolades, not realizing that he is allowing you um, insight into all it's all it's taken him to get to this space so that he can be a provider for you. You know how these girls be like, oh yeah, you know, I want a, I want a high earner. I want a man that, you know, I don't have to work. I don't have to do this. I don't have to do that. I want a man that's going to be able to do all these things for me. The reason why he's leading with his income and well, not his income, but the reason why he's leading with his intelligence is because it's attached to his income. So he's letting you know, I'm an intelligent man. No matter what's going on, I'm going to be able to figure things out. I have this career. If this career don't work, I have this backup plan. If this don't work, I have this backup plan. How many people do you know have been certified to be something as strenuous as like a pharmacist, Right. And then do nothing with it and keep on going and surpass that at only 27 years old. So for me, 
she thinks that she's popping, right? She thinks that she got it. Oh yeah. Well, you know, I need somebody with some personality. Well, I'm saying good for him that you didn't choose him. Good for him because you know why he's going to one, he's going to attract somebody who's going to appreciate him for being himself, not being this image of the person that you want him to be. Because if we're being real, you want somebody that's going to come over here with all this swag, you know, that talks you, you know, talks to you all sweet. And, but he's also kind of like a thug, you know, what do they say? What was the analogy that, um, Kevin used Tupac in a suit, right? You want Tupac in a suit that all the girls want him. He don't want them. He only wants you. That's what you want to be in a relationship with. But guess what? That guy has options and he doesn't want you. This guy saw you. Okay. Whatever it is that he saw came on here and, and, and publicly, right? Spoke to you put himself out there and you're talking about he has no personality based off of him saying that of all the things that he's done makes no sense to me. And then they wonder like, Oh, why can't I get a man? Because good men present themselves to you and you don't want that. You want you low key, like subconsciously, you want the guy that's going to treat you bad. That's who you really want. You say that you want a good guy. You say that you want to be stable. You say that you want, you know, somebody that can take care of you, but you really don't. You really want that hood guy to just, you know, change his ways and do right by you, even though he's proven over and over again that he's not going to do that because he doesn't have to, or he, he won't, he doesn't want to do that for you. And, you know, I saw like some people like leaving some comments, like, kind of like making fun of him or whatever like trying to make it seem like he's lame or whatever the case is and some girls will just reject you because they see that the masses aren't aren't like checking for you like if there was a lot of girls in the chat like oh yeah like if it was me I would this or if it was me and there was nobody cracking jokes she would be jumping on that like flies on crap <laughs> instead of trying to look cool for the internet I want a man that has personality. Oh, you want somebody that has a lack of self-control is what you mean. You want somebody that's boisterous. You want somebody that you can uh, argue with, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with. You don't want somebody that, that screams stability, safety. You don't want that. So stop acting like you do, <laughs> right? Like I wish, I wish a lot of these women would just come on here and actually just genuinely be honest. And be like, nah, I want like a hood guy. I want I want somebody who's like a reformed thug that's like a gentleman sometimes, but kind of not. But then I want him to make a certain amount of money and, and take care of me. And then kind of like if I have to fight a baby mama or two, I will. I think that is what women should more so lead with. Not just saying that you can't, there's no good guys. That's not true. There is good guys. There's a lot of good guys. There's guys that won't cheat, okay, have absolutely no interest. There's guys that are willing and able and capable to take care of you. There's guys that do have the swag, that are nice, that have lots of personality. But at the same time, they don't want to be ran over by you. I think this guy was kind of doing a favor. I'm just, no shade. Not when I'm talking about looks, I'm not talking about appearance, I'm not talking about any of that. I'm just talking about the way that she's portraying herself as to being higher than everybody else. Because most men don't like that. Most men don't like a woman who thinks that she's better than everybody. He shot his shot. I'm not saying that you have to be interested. I'm not saying that, you know, every guy that is interested in you, you're going to be interested in. No. Do I think that there's a, necess a necessity for chemistry? Yes, I do. However... To try to play him, for a lack of better words, and try to say, oh, you know, he didn't have no personality. When he, all he was doing was, you, you didn't specify. You didn't say, what do you like to do for fun? What do you do in your free time? Where are you from? Where did you grow up? You didn't specify. You said, tell me about yourself. And he did. Now, is it that you didn't like what you heard? Is it truly that he didn't have any personality or is it really that you were intimidated by the things that you heard him say?
that he has acquired because you know that if you and him get into a room, there's not much conversation that, that the two of you can actually have because of his level of intelligence. Again, I think a lot of these spaces would be a lot easier if they blatantly said exactly what it is that they actually want before just letting people just come up and shoot their shot and then like, oh yeah, he's not this, he's not that. Well, what do you want? And, to, and be honest. Because we know that's what a lot of these women can't be. They can't be honest. You want a thug. You want, you want somebody hood. You want somebody that that's going to put you in your place. Right? You want somebody who is um, on your level. He could be smart, but not too smart where I feel like I'm not over him. Let's be let's be real. That's how a lot of these women maneuver. You can be smart, but not too smart. Because I still got to be able to feel like, you know, I'm in control sometimes or I could check you sometimes too. So be there, but not all the way up there. I want to know what you guys think about this. I genuinely do because I, I saw um, the title and I was like, I, I can imagine what... You know, my River family over here is going to be saying in the comment section. So I, I want to know you guys' thoughts, your feelings, your opinions um, in the comment section down below. And also, actually, before I finish this out, I just want to say, too, it's so interesting how a woman can so easily, like, shut a man down, like, publicly and be like, oh, yeah, he had no personality. But if the shoe was on the other foot and a woman came up and shot her, you know, opportunity with a guy and maybe she was just a little bit overweight and he was like, okay, thanks, pineapples. And it's like, oh, why? Why so soon? Because she's fat. It would be an uproar. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe. But she was nice. But she was this. Why wouldn't? People would flip. Anyway, <laughs> leave your comments in the comment section down below. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. I post a video every single day. The time varies. If you hit that bell, it will notify you when I post. Thank you guys so very, very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Love you.